15 question commonly asked during research proposal defense. Summary of questions 1. What is the rationale of the study? 2. What is the statement of problem in your study? 3. Who will be the respondent of your study? 4. Who will be the beneficiaries of your study? 5. What are the limitations of your study? 6. What theory did you use? 7. How did you choose your recent literature study? Summary of questions 8. What research method did you use? 9. What instrument will you use? 10. What is your study all about? What is the focus of your study? 11. What is the future scope of your study? 12. How will this study contribute to the body of knowledge? 13. What type of background research have you done for the study? 14. How do you intend to conduct your research? 15. How did you formulate your research objectives? 1. What is the rationale of the study? Present and share the reasons that motivated you to choose slash do the study. Can be found on last paragraph of the introduction, rationale of the study. Ensure there is an urgency to conduct the study and relevance to you and your current situation. Be sure you inform the panel of examiner that you have encountered literatures which stated this particular topics as a problem of the society today. The research topic that you have chosen may be based on your own observation or experiences. This will give you opportunity to explain your side as the researcher. Elaborate your research topic and try to convince the examiner that it is really a need to conduct your study because it is timely and relevant. The possible output of your paper can contribute to the needs of your field of specialization. 2. What is the statement of problem in your study? Present the statement of problem of your study starting with the general problem followed by the specific problem. Make sure that one of your statement of problem directly answer the objective of your study. Remember all questions in your statement of problem should be able to help answer the research title. 3. Who will be the respondent of your study? Present and share the descriptions of your respondents, their age range, academic level. Discuss the total population of the respondents. Present the number of samples used taken from the population. Present and discuss the sampling method used briefly by giving its definition and the reason for using it. Present the formula used to determine the sample. 4. Who will be the beneficiaries of your study? Open your manuscripts to the significant of your study. Present the beneficiaries and the benefits that they will get from your study. To answer this question, you will need to highlight how your study will aid other people, such as students, industry, shareholders, and etc. This question is similar with what is the significant of the study. 5. What are the limitations of your study? Open your manuscripts to the scope and limitation of the study. Present the scope of your research based on what is written in your manuscripts. Present the limitation of your research as these are factors and elements that were not included because of uncontrolled circumstances. 6. What theory did you use? Present the main theory that you choose to support your study by presenting the title of the theory, the author slash writer and the idea embodied in the theory. Then discuss how this theory is relevant and important in order to answer and achieve your research objective. 7. How did you choose your recent literature study? Inform the panel how are your literatures and studies relevant to the research that you are conducting. Inform the panel that all your literature and studies are under the five years rule. Five year rule, from the current year, 2021 subtract 5 and you will have 2016. Your journals should fall under the publishing year of 2016 to 2021. 8. What research method did you use? Open your manuscript to Chapter 3, Research Design and Methodology. Present the research method that you used by giving the specific method, the description of the method and justified it. 9. What instrument will you use? Present the instrument that you use to gather data, this can be questionnaire, checklist, 
Interview. Discuss how you conceptualized and formed the instrument. Briefly mention if your instrument is researcher made or a standardized instrument. If your instrument is researcher made then discuss how you validated the instrument. 10. What is your study all about? What is the focus of your study? In answering this question, you must state the background slash summary of the introduction of the rationale of your proposed topic. State the possible cause and effect of your chosen topic. You may also consider on how a particular issues or phenomenon evolve and its effect to the society. You may also try to convince the panel that your proposed topic is relevant and can somehow give possible solutions to some underlying questions about the problem. 11. What is the future scope of your study? Be sure you read literatures about your proposed topic. The panel of examiners are looking into the aspect if you have enough knowledge or you have done prior research about the topic for you to be able to realize what will be the potential output of your study. Consider to read the possible research design related to your study, so they will know how do you intend to conduct your study. Just in case, your panel of examiner may not agree with the design you choose, but take note they might suggest a new one that you can use in your study. 12. How will this study contribute to the body of knowledge? Once you are done with your research, it means to say already contributed to the body of knowledge. Once you HAV achieve the objective of your study, this simply means to have contributed to the field of knowledge you are expert in. 13. What type of background research have you done for the study? The panel of examiner might be looking into the aspect if you have conducted a prior research or reading about the topic. Be sure to tell them that you have done a research in formulating your research topics. Do not tell them there was a mentor who suggested to pursue that topic. 14. How do you intend to conduct your research? In answering T question, you must consider the situation, your target respondent slash participants, how are you going to gather your data especially in this present situation, the ongoing pandemic, proper protocols, and ethical consideration. The panel of examiners are also looking into the aspect if you know the steps of research process and research design. 15. How did you formulate your research objectives? You can inform the panel that you have come up with your research objective by knowing the possible variables that may affect or contribute to your proposed topic. Be sure to review the variables stated on your statement of problem or research objectives. 9 Important Tips for Preparing Thesis Defense Refresh your memory, read the thesis prior to the defense. Use reviewer and editor's comments and questions. Research the committee members. Do some mock defense. Be in control of emotions and attitudes, take deep breath to calm down. Do not be too nervous. Give the answer a simple structure. Refer to earlier questions. Have a pre-planned routine for impossible questions. List down the possible questions and answers prior the thesis defense. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.